Estonian army reservists make their way through a forest area and engage the enemy in an urban combat environment. The Estonian reservist forces are taking part in the largest military exercise ever to have taken place in the history of the country. This is a NATO exercise, codenamed Exercise Hedgehog, but known as Exercise Sil in Estonia. Today's exercise taking place in the Veru and Valga counties of southern Estonia involves the mobilisation of Estonia's reserve forces, primarily from the 2nd Infantry Brigade of the Estonian Land Forces, part of the Estonian Defence Force. Also join the 2nd Infantry Brigade are Estonian Defence League volunteer paramilitary armed forces members. As one of NATO's smaller states with 6,500 active military personnel, Estonia relies heavily on its 12,000 military reservists and 16,000 paramilitary personnel to be called upon at short notice to defend Estonia, independence and sovereignty. As a matter of interest, the Estonian reservist soldier will have served 11 months full-time as a conscript. This gives them their basic training, which prepares them, if they wish, to take up service in the Estonian Defence League. Following Russia's illegal and illegitimate annexation of Crimea in 2014, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania as part of the three NATO member Baltic states on NATO's eastern flank were the first along with Poland to be bolstered with enhanced forward presence multinational Italian-sized battle groups. Exercise SIL is an annual exercise designed to test the security of NATO's eastern flank. The deterrence factor towards any aggressive neighbouring state who may cover the force of run across the border was another major consideration in the planning of SIL. With Estonia sharing a border with Russia and following the February 24th Russian invasion of Ukraine, there was a palpable heightened level of concern not just in Estonia but across most European countries whether they share a Russian border or not. NATO's enhanced forward presence in Estonia, which is currently led by the United Kingdom, has seen its presence increase with deployments of extra troops and heavy weaponry. Danish Royal Army Troops, part of the Viking Company, a segment of the Jutland Dragoon Regiment, who were deployed to Estonia to support the NATO battle group in March 2022, sent soldiers to the exercise to act as an opposing force. But by far the most imposing show of force came from the British Army Royal Tank Regiment Battle Group's 64 ton Charlie 2 main battle tanks and Royal Welsh Battle Group's 25 ton Warrior Armoured Fighting Vehicles, sent to support the Estonian 2nd Infantry Brigade. In all, 15,000 personnel took part in the exercise. The British Army contributed 1,500 troops to exercise SIL. The commanding officer of the Royal Tank Regiment and Commander Royal Tank Regiment Battle Group, Lieutenant Colonel Simon Worth, explained, We are working this week with the 2nd Estonian Brigade and it offers them a significant increase in their combat power. Normally they are a light brigade and we are bringing something much heavier that has increased their lethality significantly. One of the unique points of the Estonian exercise from a soldier's perspective was that it was carried out entirely in public rural and semi-built up areas, mimicking precisely the type of terrain they could expect to have to fight through if ever the threat materialised. Unlike manoeuvring across well-trodden training areas, working in close proximity to the public brought new and interesting challenges such as excited school children racing across fields to see the tanks and take pictures. Lieutenant Colonel Sam Worth further commented, 
None of us before have had the opportunity to train on public land with very few restrictions. For our soldiers that's an extraordinary experience and I think one we will carry for the rest of our careers. The commander of the 2nd Infantry Brigade, Colonel Tarmo Metzer, explained that a big part of the exercise is the mobilisation of the country's reserve forces and getting them equipped and into the field as soon as possible. Speaking of the exercise, he said, I believe it is not only for the defence of Estonia, but for a collective defence in all Europe because of tensions in Ukraine. Thanks for watching. Ah, okay, fine.